It's hard to ignore Betelgeuse, which is one of the brightest stars in the sky. You've probably seen it up there, marking Orion's shoulder, but it won't be there forever. A recent brightening trend has astronomers again wondering if the aging supergiant star is on the verge of death. It'll be quite a spectacle when Betelgeuse explodes in a supernova, but even the star's latest weird behavior doesn't guarantee the time has come. When a star like Betelgeuse exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer produce enough energy to withstand its own gravity. The collapse results in a tremendous increase in temperature and pressure, leading to a cataclysmic explosion. A supernova can flood nearby solar systems with deadly radiation, but we are in the perfect place to observe Betelgeuse's end. At 650 light-years away, give or take, Betelgeuse exploding won't negatively impact Earth. However, that's very close in astronomical terms. For the past several weeks, Betelgeuse has been getting brighter, now emitting about 50% more light than it usually does, reports Scientific American. This star's luminance has greatly varied in recent years, dropping by about 60% in 2019 and 2020. That turned out to be thanks to a massive release of gas from the star. Astronomers have identified a 400-year cycle based on observations from ancient sources, but the latest changes are happening much faster. The latest brightening episode has been ongoing for just over three months. The erratic behavior of Betelgeuse suggests it could be reaching the end of the road, but it could take another 100,000 years for it to go supernova. Or it might have happened 649 years ago, and the light from the event is about to reach us. The first sign that Betelgeuse has died will be a burst of neutrinos. These particles are extremely difficult to detect, but several experiments on Earth could potentially detect an increase in neutrino emission. Next, the light from the explosion will arrive, causing the star to become 10,000 to 100,000 times brighter. It could end up half as bright as the moon and stay that way for months before slowly dying down. For astronomers, this would be a pivotal moment to improve our understanding of stellar evolution. Betelgeuse won't be able to hurt us, but it's close enough that scientists will be able to gather mountains of data on a phenomenon that we've previously only observed from a great distance. Sadly, there's no way to predict exactly when this will happen. It's just a matter of watching and waiting.